Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and I know it's been quite a long time since my last video but without trying to give any excuses, I want to start off the video by thanking all the subscribers of my channel for their patience. Alright, so in this video we'll cover Ubuntu 16.04 which was released in the month of April. First I was thinking of doing a live tour of the operating system but after using it for a while I realized that there has not been any major changes to the operating systems. So in this video we'll talk about the important changes that was introduced with 16.04. Alright, so with that said let's begin today's video. Alright, so first the new Ubuntu has all the latest and updated version of regular softwares like the Chromium browser is updated to version 48, the Firefox browser to version 45. We also have Linux kernel 4.4 in this. Now the Python 3 is the default now replacing Python 2, but Python 2 is available and can be installed separately. Uh, as far as GNOME is concerned, GNOME is upgraded to 3.18. And the GNOME software replaces the Ubuntu Software Center. So this is kind of a big change. You also have the GNOME calendar in the default installation of Ubuntu. Few softwares that were removed is the Empathy Messaging Client and Brasario Disk Burning Software which are now removed from the default installation of the operating system. And finally we have the online searches disabled by default but you can enable it if you want to by going into security and privacy now as far as unity is concerned the default desktop environment of ubuntu uh, it has been updated to version 7.4 and apart from few cosmetic changes you have the launcher or the dock uh, that can be moved to the bottom however there's a particular command that you need to type in in the terminal as it stands you have to type this command um, to move the dock to the bottom and then replace bottom to left and that will move your dock back to the default position. Now the biggest change I believe is the introduction of new application format called snaps which is to address some of the issues with the current system of installation of a software on a Linux machine. The biggest one is with the dependencies. Uh, I think it happens a lot of time when you try to install a particular software on a Linux machine. Uh, the installation doesn't go successfully because either you do not have the dependent software installed on your computer or it is not of the correct version. So you go ahead and install all the dependencies uh, with the correct version of it. And then when you want to remove that particular software, some of the required dependencies that are used by the other programs on your computer, they also get deleted and your other programs also sometimes do not function properly. So snaps are introduced to resolve this particular problem. A snap package contains all the required dependencies or files for it to run successfully. So you don't have to worry about dependencies and, and even when removing a software, it does not mess up with your other softwares. So to get the man page of all the options with the snap command, type man space snap, which will give you the manual of snap command and to find all the packages that are available on snap you can type in snap space find uh, to install a package type in snap space install space package name to update a particular package all you have to do is type in snap space refresh and then the package name that you want to update and finally to remove a snap package you type in snap space remove space package name so this is the snap and lastly you have the ZFS file system support in Ubuntu 16.04 though it was introduced in 15.10 but now it is matured enough. However it is only supported for data storage and not for a root file system. If you are interested in knowing more about the ZFS file system, how it increases the performance of your system um, if any, you can check out this test which was done by people at Foronix. They have done a performance test uh, comparing ZFS with ext4, b3 file system and x file system. There were some good, some not so good results. You can check that out yourself by clicking here or I'll also post the link down in the description. Alright, so that was all about Ubuntu 16.04 that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video 
and again a huge shout out to all the subscribers of my channel thank you so much if you have any comment or suggestion kindly type that in in the comment box if you like this video kindly press the like button thank you again and i'll see you next time